Tonka painting began more than a thousand years ago in Tibet. The word Tonka in Tibetan means rolled up and refers to the fact that Tonkas are painted on flexible material and may be rolled up into a scroll for ease of transport. The paintings are typically used to develop meditation practices assisting monks and other spiritual seekers in the process of visualization. Tonka art is meticulously handcrafted and follows many predefined and exacting standards, including image proportion, color, and the use of symbols. Depending on the size, complexity, and quality, one small painting may take upwards of two months to complete. The artwork usually depicts Buddhist deities in a highly symbolic landscape, or features a mandala or geometric construct which is used to focus the mind in meditation. Tonka art tends to be more imitative than creative. For the artist, creativity is experienced internally by engaging with the painting process. There are, however, several modern Tonka artists who use their training and skills to express their own artistic vision. Gurmi Lama is one of these artists. His studio is across the street from the Bodhnath Stupa in Kathmandu, Nepal. My name is Girmi Lama. I was born in Phungmoche, northeast of Nepal, um, in a Sherpa family. My father, when I was seven months old, my father, my parents got divorced and, and he became a monk because she ran away somewhere. And um, when I was um, 12, I, st uh, I started um, tanka painting with my father uh, for five years. And after that, I also started with my father's teacher, O Leshe. Um, he was a yogi master um, and very good tanka painter. And when I was 20, I came to Kathmandu, I, the first time. I was just trying to understand the little modernization. I saw the first TV first time when I was 20. Then I also tried to go to the college without a high school degree, and I did that. I did a bachelor's degree in liberal arts, and 
I also started um, contemporary art uh, with one of the um, art professor, well, a good artist from Nepal. Mm -hmm. Sketch uh, like nature study, drawing portraits, oil paintings. Um, then I went to, um, uh, I did one painting for uh, someone from Britain and because of that painting I got a, a scholarship for one year um, in Britain. Uh, I learned something about the Western culture or British um, and uh, theology about church, about the faith, um, paintings in very brief one year course. And after that, uh, I've been traveling to the United States for the last three years, three times, and did some show every year, one or two show, this time two show. And also, I got some opportunities to learn modern techniques or modern way to do artwork, um, little computer work how to digitize or how to save the originals because um, in the past I did lots of original I sold and um, I have no copyright and I cannot do anything um, and they and I heard they were f fighting over my painting and they have lost soon <laughs> so now I'm kind of mm, uh, saving the originals I'm also selling but I sell only when I like to, and I save the, digitize them and put in slides for future. And uh, one of the thing for tanka painting is there is no school for tanka painting. There is no proper school where you get the degree in tanka painting. <coughs> it's uh, you learn. I learn from my father and father's teacher, and I teach my other friends or my niece. And so far, I've been giving course to local people. I gave lot, taught lots of local people and foreigners, foreign students. I teach for Narova University students every year. Um, uh, but they just want to, these are the course, they, I just tell them how to, what is Tanka painting, how, what is the process, what is the significance. But to be a Tanka artist, it's, it takes years and years and it's very hard and I gave lessons for many students but so far only few have been successful and they are doing their own work and uh, my niece is I'm just passing my niece my my tanka skills